All right, folks, let's talk about Litzo, the Grammy-winning, flute-playing, body-positive sensation. You know her, right? She's got that undeniable talent, but now she's facing some drama. So, Litzo, the queen of body positivity, is accused of fat shaming and sexual harassment. I mean, that's like Oprah being accused of not liking bread, it just doesn't add up. Now, I'm no stranger to body shaming myself. One time I tried to fit into some skinny jeans. And let's just say it was like trying to stuff a watermelon into a coin purse. Not a pretty sight, let me tell you. But Litzo, she's all about embracing who she is and rocking those skin-tight leotards. You got to admire that confidence, right? And let's not forget the Beyonce snub oh, the drama. Beyonce, the ultimate diva, skipping a reference to Litzo in a live performance. It's like a pop star soap opera. But hey, Litzo's got merchandise too Litzo thong with juice plastered across the front, anyone? Not sure I'd rock that at the family reunion, but hey, to each their own. The allegations from her former dancers are quite the plot twist. I mean, these were the dancers from Watch Out for the Big GRRRLs. I always thought that show was all about empowerment and positivity. Guess not. You know, Litzo's always been vocal about her struggles with body issues. She's a role model for many, but now we're questioning if she's walking the talk. But let's not jump to conclusions. Litzo's got that reality show commissioned for a second season. And Amazon Studios seems to be her biggest fan. Let's see how this melodrama unfolds. In the end, we all hope Litzo's body positivity won't turn into a negative hit. She's got that superhero vibe, but we'll have to wait and see if she's the hero or the villain in her own story. All right, folks, that's enough celebrity gossip for tonight. Let's keep our eyes on the news and see how this Litzo saga plays out. Until then, stay witty, stay dry, and remember, life is full of twists and turns just like a Hollywood script. Thanks for watching.